Hey everyone, it's Erin from The Impatient Gardener, and today I want to tell you about a tree that you might be interested in for your yard and that I'm planting in my yard today. This is European Hornbeam. Uh, it's Carpinus betulus, and this variety is Lucas. Um, there's a lot of varieties out there. There's also an American Hornbeam, which is Carpinus carolinia. They're similar in a lot of ways. They make wonderful trees for a lot of applications. Um, and there are some great cultivars out there now that stay a little smaller and have interesting shapes. They often have um, great fall color. They do keep their leaves um, well into winter. Uh, so they sort of hang there as kind of a rust colored accent, which is kind of nice in the winter landscape to have a little bit of color. A lot of interesting things about this tree. For one, um, the foliage comes out bright verdant green uh, in spring, which is great. Um, there are catkins like a birch tree would have. Um, and then, like I said, it hangs on to those leaves um, in fall. It is deciduous, so it will eventually drop them. So it's by no means an evergreen. Um, also, the foliage has these, is this great little crinkly serrated edge. And um, they're just beautiful, interesting leaves. This particular one that I am going to be planting today is a very almost columnar upright variety. Uh, it will, over time, get to be about 30 feet tall and 10 feet wide, but that will never happen in this application because, like I said, I'm going to grow these as a hedge. And ideally, I'm going to grow these as a raised hedge. So that would mean that you'll see a little bit of the trunk, and then there'll be sort of a chunk of, of tree, um, and then it'll be flat on top. Right now, uh, this is all about planting them. So I am going to plant these at half the final width that they get. So I'm going to plant these five feet apart, which is pretty close, but I want this to be a nice dense hedge that interweaves with, with itself so that there aren't breaks between the trees. And frankly, I don't feel like waiting many, many years for that to happen. So there will be space between these trees when I plant them, but in a few years, we'll see how long it takes. Hopefully they'll grow together. Um, and we're going to, uh, and I'll be pruning them over the years to sort of promote more bushiness so they get to be nice and dense. At some point we will have to figure out how tall we want these to be in the end and it can't be too tall because we have to be able to get on a ladder and prune them. So we'll see where we want that to be but this year I'm just worried about planting them getting them in the ground. Interestingly enough um, I am all alone today so um, I had some help getting these trees near their holes but I'm going to be planting them by myself. Fortunately, uh, these are not huge root balls and they're right next to the holes. So I think I'll be able to sort of muscle them in there. So um, here we go. Okay, so that project is mostly done. It took me way more time than I thought it would. It, there was no way the time lapse on the camera could go that long. It was probably about four hours, um, not including the break I took for lunch. So, um, but I'm really happy with how they are. You know, if I was just sticking six trees in the ground randomly, it wouldn't have taken me that long, I don't think, but because I wanted these to be exactly five feet apart and perfectly in line. It took a lot of time checking to make sure everything was right in addition to just checking that they were straight. And it really would have been helpful to have a second person to just stand there and do that while you adjusted a tree. But that's okay, I got it done. Um, it's also clear to me that I'm gonna have to make some decisions sooner rather than later on whether this is gonna be a raised hedge or not because some of them have branches that start much lower and so um, if I take, for instance, on this one, if I take these branches away here, you know, that's going to be a much different looking tree. So I have to start making some decisions about what's going to happen. But for now, I'm just going to be happy that this project is more or less finished. I have not mulched yet. I want to put a nice thick layer of mulch down here. And I am going to install either a soaker hose or some sort of drip irrigation here because I really want to make sure that these get off to a really good start. Um, the only thing worse than a tree failing is when one tree in a series fails 
um, because it's very hard to make them catch up later on and to make them look the same. Um, so I'm just going to really baby these trees, take good care of these, and that means a lot of keeping an eye on the watering. So, so let me know in the comments what you think about this project. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it. And um, I will certainly touch base with you guys and update you as these things grow and as I make some decisions about how the pruning situation is going to go with these. Um, and that's it. So go forth and garden. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.